2017 is a big year for us Canadians. Yes, it's the 150th anniversary of Confederation, which has come to be known as simply Canada 150. We typically only celebrate Canada's birthday on July 1st, but this year we're celebrating it all year round, all across the country. And we are happy to share this story that commemorates a sport that most Canadians feel passionate about. I know I certainly do, and that's hockey. Ottawa's Dave Brown went to the Canadian Museum of History to check out the new marquee exhibition, which is sure to garner a lot of attention. As you enter the special exhibition, the visitor welcome is very simple. Hockey is spelled out in giant white letters along the hallway. Co-curator Dr. Jenny Ellison explains how our national obsession with the game is the thesis behind this project. People usually say hockey is Canada's game, and what we wanted to do with this project was say, okay, why? Like, what is it about hockey that captures the imagination of so many Canadians? And the timing of the exhibition is no accident. It's Canada 150, 125th anniversary of the Stanley Cup, and the 100th anniversary of the NHL, so it's a good year to talk about hockey. And we want to be part of the national conversation that's going on right now, reflecting on the meaning of big Canadian symbols. So we start with the history, but then we look at you know, the NHL and Team Canada's greatest moments. We look at the media, fan culture, and then popular culture. And so we're building a case. And I think when you start to see how many different ways that hockey intersects with Canadian life, it, it becomes obvious why it's such a touchstone for everyone. Speaking of touchstone, the exhibition includes an opportunity to experience the history of hockey gear through touch. Dr. Ellison and I go inside to check it out. Let's talk about the evolution of equipment. What are we gonna start with? I wanna start with gloves. So what we see when we look at these gloves is the transformation in protective equipment over time from these heavy leather gloves to this lightweight technical fabric from the present day. So I'll get you to put them on. Okay, so, so with my right hand, right I got hand. the old school, old school leather glove. I think I've seen my dad uh, wear these for years and years and years. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, it's a little bit stiff inside, but say. it feels pretty comfy though. Okay, good. It's soft. I mean, it's, <laughs> you know, it's good. All right, now try this one on. Okay, so immediately, like, the weight is totally different. It's super, super light. And uh, it, just the way in which it covers my, head, my, my entire arm is a little bit different too. It's a little bit shorter. Yeah. I've got, like, a lot more wrist motion as I'm kind of schmoogling around yeah, here. Yeah, and give your fingers a wiggle. Oh yeah. Yeah. Much more. It, it, you could say it actually fits like a glove. Yeah, absolutely. It feels like a nice winter mitt. Yeah. So I mean, gloves are something that's that's been there over time. But what's really changed in this case is the is the the, the technicality of the gear. It's it's lighter. It doesn't hold the water. It gives you more movement. Well, it's hard to play hockey without sticks. So tell me about this critical piece of equipment and how it's evolved. Well, uh, the hockey stick is a uniquely Canadian invention. So hockey evolved from different kinds of stick and ball games played by Europeans and Indigenous people over time. But the, the long blade on uh, early wooden hockey sticks is, uh, is something that was brought to the game by the Mi'kmaq people of the Nova Scotian region. So what we see here is one wooden early hockey stick from, well, not that early, probably about the 1950s. It's a Sherwood stick. You could have bought it through the Eames catalog uh, for not too, too much money, affordable, uh, you know, not bad. Feels nice, feels, feels, feels uh, nice and smooth on the wood and not too heavy, but uh, certainly not exactly uh, light as a feather either. Yeah, absolutely. And with early sticks too, I mean, they didn't, players in the past just kind of used the stick that they wanted. You know, they didn't necessarily have endorsement deals. So Sherwood, we'd see Sherwood and other different brands in the hands of NHL players. Now, of course, we have uh, very strong attachments between players and their brands. So like here, this new stick. Like exactly. this new stick, absolutely. So this is a lightweight carbon stick. Um, so that's honestly Bauer. maybe half the weight, maybe even a third of the weight of that wooden stick. Yeah, absolutely. A little easier to, to bend and curve the blade as you want, and also to, uh, well, I guess adjusting the height's not too, too tough. And it, again, the way, that, the way that it's wrapped, the material it's wrapped in makes it feel different, and it's a whole different kind of stylized piece of equipment, whereas absolutely. the old one is just kind of very functional. Absolutely, yeah. It's a lot different. It's branded. It's shiny. It's smooth. Uh, and it, you know, it, it makes things lighter and faster in the game of hockey which is, is re really a big important part of the evolution of the game. And that's just one small corner. The exhibition includes a staggering number of items on display. There's 280 artifacts in the exhibition. We wanted to go beyond the jersey. So one of the things we have that is really special are the original or an original turnstile and ticket box and seats from Maple Leaf Gardens from the 1930s. And so we wanted people to see not just that the players and the stars are important, but that you know, the infrastructure of hockey is important, the NHL is important, fans are important. And fans young and old will find something to enjoy at this exhibition. 
I love the enthusiasm from Dr. Ellison. You can tell she's a fan. And it's cool that it houses all facets of the game, from the fans to the leagues, the media, a bit of the Olympics, and of course, the history. Dave's favorite was a piece of art made for Sidney Crosby. He shared this photo of the bronze replica of the Stanley Cup on top of a washing machine. It commemorates how Sid the Kid learned his precision goal scoring by shooting pucks in the front loader of his parents' basement. Definitely a rare part of Canadian hockey history. The exhibition is on until October 9th and is traveling across the country. Next stop is Montreal. Great, so you have plenty of time to take me to see it. Me? Take you? It's a date.